Hey guys, it's TMF Style. I'm Jose Zuniga, and for this week's video, we're going to be discussing five pairs of shoes for work and play. There's three things that I love about menswear that I love collecting. Shoes, suits, and watches. If you see my video, I did a video, I want to say about three, four months ago on a quick TMF closet tour, I called it. I'll have it on the iCard above me if you haven't seen it. But if you notice, I have pretty much minimal everything, minimal shirts, everything. But on shoes, I kind of splurge a little bit and I have around 20 to 25 pairs of shoes. In reality though, the sad part is that I really don't use all those shoes. I might use five, maybe four to five pairs in and out and there's usually one or two that are my favorite that I use all the time. And what happens is the rest just sit there collecting dust and I might use once every two weeks, once every month if that. So this is why I usually recommend men to start with around five pairs. If you're building out your closet, start with a good pair, a good five pairs that you should have. And this should lay your foundation. So this should be your goal. Don't think, oh, I want 30 shoes. Think, all right, I need these pairs to, you know, quote unquote, complete my wardrobe. So I decided to compile a list of five shoes that will suit you in both settings in the work setting and in a more casual play setting. So let's get started. So of course, the first pair is a given. What kind of menswear blogger would I be if I didn't recommend to you guys the wingtip? The wingtip is a traditional classic shoe that because of its texture and its design, it's just so versatile. It adds good contrast to your outfits and it looks good across multiple settings. This is why wingtips are very popular amongst menswear enthusiasts. You can easily dress it down in a nice pair of jeans or dress it up for a more office setting and in both settings, you will look great. Casually, you get a good smart casual look and dressed up, it nicely complements a suit. Obviously, the next one that I'm gonna mention is the boot. I'm absolutely in love with boots right now. I love their functionality, I love their look. I love the designs that a lot of designers are putting out today. You have so many options from the Jodhpur boot, the Chelsea boot, the Chukka boot, desert boot, wingtip boot. I mean, the list goes on and on. There's a huge list, so there's usually a boot out there for you. So what I usually recommend is when you're gonna choose a boot that's gonna serve you both settings, go with a leather upper. Suede boots are very nice, but that I usually recommend as a secondary boot, supplementary to your first leather shoe. I also recommend a thin sole because this will, be ma this will make it a lot easier to dress up. As you can see, this shoe, it makes it a little harder to dress up. I like it at some points, but it really doesn't look as refined as a thin sole boot should look. However, nonetheless, paired with denim, it looks great. So make sure you get yourself a pair of boots because it'll make a great addition to your weekly rotation. All right, so the next one is a nice pair of white sneakers. Again, you, here you have a lot of options. You can go with a canvas sneaker, a leather sneaker. You can go with Converse, Adidas, New Balance. There's so many options. Just get yourself a plain white sneaker. The reason being is while a sneaker really won't work into your work attire all that much because it really isn't proper with suits, you might be able to slip it in on casual Fridays. And you're always gonna need a good pair of sneakers for your play settings. So that's why I put in a white sneaker. And given that you do wanna try to dress it up, it's a lot easier to dress up a nice pair of white sneakers than say, your new pair of Yeezys. So get yourself a nice, invest in a nice pair of sneakers that'll be more versatile in your wardrobe. Your next shoe is gonna be a tassel loafer. To be honest, it could be almost any type of loafer, but I recommend always two, and my personal favorite, as I'm mentioning right now, is the tassel loafer. I like the design the tassel gives. It gives a good contrast to the loafer, but a penny loafer can look very elegant in an appropriate collection. So this one, I leave it to the discretion of the wearer and your personal taste. If you're a penny loafer guy, go with a penny loafer. If you're a tassel loafer guy, go with the tassel loafer. The idea is get yourself a laceless shoe, something that you can just slip in because some mornings, that's all you're gonna wanna do, slip them in and go out the door. And if you have a good, nice pair of loafers, you'll always look put together and it won't look like you just quickly rushed out your home. Again, paired with a nice pair of denim, I love the look it gives. It gives a really good, smart, casual look. You can just add a nice white button up and a good blazer and you're set to go with this outfit and easily transfer that to a suit setting. The idea, like I mentioned, is you wanna refine loafers, something that you can put play around in both settings. And finally, the Plain Toe Derby. This is a shoe I've been using quite often lately and it's the reason that I'm including it in this video. I find the simplicity of, of this Plain Toe shoe looks so well with so many outfits 
It's, it's really that effortless shoe that you don't have to think about, oh, how am I going to pair this shoe or will it look good with this suit? Since it's so plain and so simple, it's basically like a blank canvas and you can add it to almost any outfit you can think of and it's going to look great. It looks good with jeans as you saw and it looks great with a suit. So it might be smart to invest in a nice plain toe derby as your first shoe since I feel you might get more wear out of this one. I obviously I chose a brown, I'm very, I'm a very much a sucker for brown shoes, but they come in black, burgundy, and brown as well. Alright guys, so that's it for this week's video guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the shoes, I will try to link down below all the shoes you saw in this video. Keep in mind some of these I bought maybe a, a little while back, so they're not, so they might not be for sale, but I'll try to find something very similar and link it down below so you guys can easily shop it. If you like this video, remember to hit up the like up button. Also remember to share this video so we can reach and teach more men. Thank you guys for watching.